Hi. Welcome back to another step-by-step -step tasker tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to make toggles in scenes. I just made a simple profile. And called it practice. Just to show you how it's made. So, I'll start by creating a new project and call it practice. Then, I am creating a profile, this is a simple profile, to turn GPS on, I am also calling it practice. This is the part, where I want to show you how to create toggles in scenes. So, make sure you are on the scene tab and click the plus sign. Give your scene a name, I called mine practice, I usually name my profiles, tasks and scenes the same names, it seems to help me keep track of them, resize your scene. I usually make them as large as the screen. Now change the background color. Click the back arrow. Click the plus sign and select text. This will be the title for your scene, I named my scene, practice, since I am making a practice lesson scene. Click the back arrow. Then resize the text and move it to the top part of the scene. I made a spelling mistake. That's why I went back to fix it. Click the plus sign. Select text. I am going to change the size of the text box to 115 by 75. This might be too small or too large for your screen. So you have to work with the box size that look best on your device. Now, either change the name or remember the name Tasker has given it. We are going to use it a lot. I called it Prac 1. And in the text area, enter on forward slash off and change the text size to 13. You can also change the text color to white. Click on the background tab. Set border width to 2, set border color to white, and corner radius to 5. Click on tab. Click the plus sign. Select variables, then select variable add. Give your variable a name, make sure at least one letter is capitalized. Leave the value at 1, and change the wrap around to 2. Click the back arrow.
Click the plus sign and select text. I am going to give my toggle a title. In the text area, enter. Turn on forward slash off. Resize and move it next to your toggle. When that is done, then we will be ready to give the toggle different colors when on and when off. Click the plus sign. Click on scene, then click on element text. Tasker will enter the scene name for you, but you have to enter the element name, either enter it yourself or click on the search icon, and select it. If you don't remember it, then look in the UI tab. Leave the position the way it is. Replace existing. And in the text area enter, on, in capital letters. Click the plus for the if statement. Then click the tag icon, and look for the variable you just made a minute ago. Enter one in the next field. I am going to copy the variable name, because I am going to use it in the next six steps, and mostly they are going to be repetitive. Click the plus sign. Select scene, then select text color. Select the same element name. Click the plus for the if statement, find your variable and match it to one in the field next to it. Now select a color, I chose green, this is the color that will show when the toggle is on. Somehow I didn't enter the variable name, so I'm doing it now. Click the back arrow. Click the plus sign. Select scene, then select element border. Again select the same element name. For the color I chose the same green color I chose in the last step, also make the border set to 2 or larger depending on your screen. Click the plus sign for the if statement. Again select the same variable to match one. Click the back arrow. And now, we are going to repeat the last three steps. The color will be red, the text will be off and the variable if matches zero. Click on scene, then click on element text. Again select the same element name. In the text area enter, off, in capital letters. 
Click the if statement plus sign, select the same variable. And zero is the number to match. Click the back arrow. Click the plus sign. Select scene, then select text color. Select the same element name. For the color I chose red. Click the if statement plus sign, select the same variable, and zero in the matching field. Click the back arrow. Click the plus sign. Select scene, then select element border. Again select the same element name. Increase the border width to 2. And for the color, select the same red color or as close to it as you did in the last step. Click the if statement plus sign, select the same variable, and zero in the matching field. This is basically it for the toggle itself. If you tap on it in a scene, it will change from on to off, and the color will change from red to green. And now I am going to show you how to turn a profile on or off. Click the plus sign. Select Tasker, then select Profile Status. Click the search icon, and select the profile that you want. Leave it set to off, then click the if plus sign and choose the same variable you used so far, and enter zero in the next field. Click the back arrow. I am going to repeat this one more time, so I am going to copy it and paste it, then change a couple of things. In the second profile status, set it to on, and in the if statement change the 0 to 1. Click the back arrow. Press and hold on the second step till it turns blue. Then tap on the third through the seventh steps, and press copy. Click the back arrow twice to exit the scene, we are going to create a task to show this scene. Click on the task tab. Then click the plus sign and give you task a name. Click the plus sign, then click scene, and select show scene. Click the search icon and select your scene from the drop-down menu, change the display as, to activity full window. Leave the checkbox ticked in the show exit button till you create and exit button yourself. Which I talked about in my past videos. Click the back arrow. Remember back when we copied the 6 steps from the scene, we are going to paste them right after the show scene action. Press and hold on it, then click on paste after it turns blue. Notice the show scene has moved to the bottom. We want it to be the first action. So go ahead and drag it to the top. Click the play button to test your work. 
Notice that the toggle is still in white, that is because it has no value yet, after you click on it the first time. It will stay either red or green, on or off. Do not forget to rotate your phone and resize your scene in the landscape position.